Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul with Woolworths. I'm firstly just going to run through our meal planner and then we'll go through the groceries I bought for our family of four for the week. Okay, our meal planner this week for our family of four. I'll start with Friday because today's Friday. We're just gonna have a hot dog. I'm trying to make it easy Friday night dinner. By Fridays I'm pretty tired and I just don't feel like cooking dinner. Um, so it's just going to be an easy one tonight. I find, you know, if it's already balanced throughout the week, it's not going to hurt occasionally to have hot dogs one night or some fish and chips or something like that. So we're just going to have hot dogs on tonight and I've got some onion I'll fry up and we're just going to use sauce and bread. I was going to get bread rolls, but they were $4 and I thought, no, there's no way I'm paying $4 for bread rolls. It's just... I've got heaps of bread, so I'm just gonna use that. Just something really easy, quick and easy. So Saturday night, I'm gonna have a corned beef and cabbage. Um, I got a, an okay size corned beef. It is expensive, it was like $25. So we're looking at $12 just for um, that night's meat without the vegetables and the cabbage and everything like that. So occasionally that's okay because we haven't had a roast in a while and I really feel like corned beef. So we got, we've got corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, and I have some beetroot still in the fridge from last week, and I'm going to roast that up. And Sunday night, I'm just going to use the leftover corned beef and veggies and make potato cakes out of them so they go further. Even I should have an equal amount of meat left from the following night, but you know it's just going to bulk it up with some potatoes and I put some onions in it and things like that and make a heap of patties out of it. So we're still looking at you know twelve dollars for the meat then too. So there's two nights, you know, I like to try and stay under $10 a night if you can, but sometimes it's okay to have a cheap meal one night and then have a roast on the following nights, you know, as long as it's sort of balanced. Um, Monday night, I've got um, some chicken drumsticks in the shop. So I'm gonna make honey curry chicken drumsticks with mashed potato and pumpkin. I picked up a pumpkin from a man around the corner who grows avocados and pumpkins and oranges, and I'm so lucky to have him down the road and he's just bringing things back in season again. So I've got that pumpkin. And I think I've got about, I think I bought about two and a half kilos of chicken. So there's a lot there. Tuesday night is just salmon and sweet potato. And I will probably put some peas with that. On Wednesday is just gonna be a hamburger night. I've got canned beetroot, um, onion and meat. On Thursday night is just gonna be a chicken stir fry with rice. I've got some chicken mince and veggies for that. So there's our family of four weekly planner and let's get into the haul today and show you all the things that I've bought for our family of four. It is absolutely pouring outside today. So I've tried to shut the window so it's not so loud. It is really teeming down. Like it's flooding weather here in Queensland. It's going to be a really wet weekend. I had to take my son up to school today with gum boots on because it was just so soggy. So hopefully his feet sort of stay, or both their feet, stay um, dry for the day. Okay, so I'm going to start with the meat here and the frozen goods. I'll probably put it all away. Even though it's, it's not really a hot day, it's sort of, everything's sort of getting condensation on it still and it's still muggy. So I'm going to start with the Nana's pies. Now I'm not sure, I just checked my invoice. I only ordered one of these. But I think I ordered the big one and they've substituted me for the small ones and they've given me another box. So maybe the big one had more grams in it. Maybe it was 500 grams and they had to get me another box because of it. I'll have to check the grams on that later. But these were on special this week so I just got a packet there. Um, I've also just got some of the frozen strawberries. These are so good. They are $7 a bag, but um, they're just beautiful. They're really good strawberries, they're huge. I just use them for my smoothies, and you can use them for muffins and things like that, but we just put them with our banana and um, banana and strawberry smoothies. I got these, if anyone's tried these, these are beautiful, the lemon meringue pies. I think they were under $6 a box this week. Um, I really like them, so you get four of them, and they're quite big, so I can just like halve one for my kids so they can get half each. My husband won't get one. My husband doesn't really like them, but you know, they're, they're okay. And they're nice if you've got visitors coming over for a barbecue or for a, a dinner and you can just bring them out. It doesn't even look like they're packaged. You can just make out that you've made them yourself. But these are really good dessert. I've also got some frozen broccoli here and I've got a big bag of the baby peas. Um, just trying to, you know, cut down costs. You know, I'm trying to stay with the home brands. 
I really like the home brand um, broccoli anyway. It's really good. And the peas, yeah, you know, it's just something that we can put with a meal every night of the week. Um, I've got some puff pastry because I haven't put it in my meal planner, but I'm going to make some sausage rolls this week. And um, even though they are quite costly to make, I'm trying to spin them out as, like, as far as I can get them by putting heaps of carrot in them, more breadcrumbs, anything I can sort of find to make the, um, the sausage rolls go further. I do have a video um, of me making these. I can link it below if you're interested in making homemade sausage rolls. Okay, I've also got some honey leg ham for sandwiches and just for lunches on the weekend, things like that. I've got it's some footy franks here. I just get the skinless ones. I think these are on special this week and that's just for our um, hot dogs for the night, for tonight's dinner. I've got some mild Hungarian salami. This one's $2 a packet. Um, okay, so I've also got some chicken mince because I'm going to make like a chicken stir fry with that. And I've got broccoli and carrots and all that sort of thing. And, you know, I'll put rice with it. Um, the corned beef. So, yeah, it's $12 a kilo and I've got a $17.56 one. Okay, so they didn't charge me $25 for it. All right, so it's $17.00. For this piece and it's quite big it's big enough for our family and we're going to get two meals out of that because i'm going to put heaps of veggies with it and like i said on the, pre on the next night i'll be just making um you know potato cakes and corned beef with it and frying them up i've got some middle bacon here just a kilo of that we'll take a little bit out for the weekend and then i'll freeze it um here's the sausage mince here i think this is close to like five dollars now for this okay i just checked the sausage mince is six dollars I don't remember it being that expensive, but yeah, so I am just, like I said, gonna stretch it out and put what I can with it, breadcrumbs, anything I can. I've got par fresh parsley growing, you know, and just try and get as many as I can out of it. Um, the kids, my husband, love it. Um, chicken drumsticks here. So these were really cheap this week. These were only $3 a kilo. That's why I got, oh, just over two kilos I got. So it was $6.41 for over two kilos of chicken drumsticks. I know there's bone in it and things like that, but they're quite easy just to put in the oven with some soy sauce or some honey and just to bake. So here's all the other groceries here. These cost $221.27. I did get like $17 um, back because I didn't have three items, only three items for $17. And it was only a couple of dollars. I was only um, some cakes for a couple of dollars, some grapes and some fresh beans. And that was $17, still over my budget. But at the moment, uh, budgeting is so difficult. Okay, so I'm still going on with these cold items here. I got a hummus, this is $2.20. I just to have with some crackers, you know, some of the dips have gone up a lot. I got some thickened cream just to have in the fridge. I've also got just um, some butter here. And also, just, I only just got four of these yogurts this week. They're starting to get a little bit expensive. I might just have to put it in their bento lunchbox. Like they've got an area where I can put yogurt, but they might spill it. But these are starting to get expensive because there's two children going to school, you know, and on special, they're about 80 cents. So it really adds up over a fortnight. And I have got 15 litres, I have got 15 litres of milk this week. I've put the rest in our fridge out in the garage, but yeah, 15 litres of milk still, we're still going through that much a week. Okay, cornflakes now. I get this huge box of cornflakes and I was really happy the other day because I looked in the cupboard and the kids had nearly eaten the whole bag. So I got another box because I enjoy having them too and they're a really good snack at night time. You know, it's 890 gram value pack and I think it's only about $6. $6.50 for 890 gram value pack of cornflakes. So I find that a really good price. And it's just like, you know, it's just a good basic cereal like wheat bix and porridge, I think. I got lots of vinegar this week. I've been trying to get it at Aldi and they haven't had any in stock. So I just stocked up on it this week, got six liters of it just to put in the stockpile pantry for cleaning. Um, I don't really have it for anything else. I just use like malt vinegar for um, foods and also apple cider vinegar, but so good for cleaning. I just like to have a heap of that. I got the big thing of Milo. I think this was about $11, but last time I bought Activite for them and they had a bit of a change, but now we're going back to Milo. We really miss our Milo. I got some raw sugar. This has gone up in price, $4.10 a bag for three kilos. I've got some of these um, natural cracker company chips. I just got a parmesan and roast garlic and a honey soy chicken. I'm not sure if my kids will like this. 
My youngest one's very picky. He likes crackers, but he doesn't like certain flavors, so you cannot always win. <laughs> I got some apricots because I went to um, use the apricots the other day, but some moisture had gotten into the top of my blender thing and it leaked through water, so I couldn't use the apricots. I had to throw them, but I was going to make some of those um, condensed milk apricot balls with coconut, so I'm going to try that again this weekend. And these ones are really nice because they're soft and juicy ones. I've got some up and goes. These were on special for around $4 this week. I just get them for my oldest son for school. Um, you know, he has one now and then. I got some Smith's chips and I'll just um, uh, give them a little bit here and there in their lunch boxes. I think these were on special, around $1.80, something like that this week. I got some of the party mix. They were on special for $2.00. And this was a substitute. I did order just a normal French onion soup mix, but they didn't have any stocks, just gave me the continental one. I always have this, this in stock. You know, it's a great to put with, um, with other soups or you can make dips out of it. Really makes great dip with a sour cream. I've just got some of the pasta sauces here. I really like these flavors and they're a little bit over $2. They're a really good jar to have in your stockpile pantry. I've got some Worcestershire sauce because I love Worcestershire sauce on certain things. Like I love it in soups, like vegetable soups and and fried eggs and things. So I really miss it if I don't have it. Um, I've got some of these wraps here. I just got two packets. It's great to have in the pantry. You know, if you run out of bread or you just want to make something quick for dinner with some fried bean, with some beans, or make a salad sandwich, or make a pizza, anything like that. I've got some coconut cream here because it's one thing I just haven't got in my stockpile pantry so I just grabbed two cans of that. Okay, I've just got three loaves of bread, two loaves of white and I just got the Wonder White. I just get uh, a nice wholemeal one, you know, for breakfasts and things like that. I mainly have wholemeal bread and the kids will eat the white bread. They really don't like wholemeal bread. Um, but, you know, I'll just make a heap of sandwiches up and freeze them for the week. I've just got two dozen eggs there because we're running out of eggs again. And vegetables this week. I got a few vegetables but didn't get a lot of fruit by the looks of it. I did order grapes but they didn't have any in stock. So um, yeah, I've got apples and I have got some mandarines and I've got some passion fruit there and some avocados. So um, yeah, I've got some green bananas for next week and I've got some bananas. They are a little bit more expensive this week for bananas. So they are 63 cents each for a banana. Okay, um, I've got some crazy carrots. They're about a dollar ninety, so they're not that much cheaper. Um, now the potatoes. I think a couple of weeks ago I said that the potatoes were nine dollars for four kilos, and I didn't buy them. Well, this week I did. These I just needed potatoes. The kids like have mashed potato all the time. Four kilos for nine dollars. They were two twenty-five a kilo. Okay, I got a cabbage that was three dollars seventy-five. But it's quite a big cabbage, so I can't really complain with that. It's not bad for $3.75, but it's still expensive, like just, just for a cabbage. I got two kilos of onions this week for $5 because they were, they were just too expensive to buy one kilo, so I just um, bought two. But, you know, bulk, buying in bulk is okay sometimes. I, well, it is good if you've got the money to do it. There's a few products I didn't buy in bulk this week because I thought if I did that, I'd have to not buy other products because I haven't got the money to do it. So, you know, it can really take up a, a large chunk of your, your budget by buying things in bulk too when you're not ready for it. Um, okay, now another thing I'm starting to cut down with is the dishwashing tablets. We got a new dishwasher put in when we first moved in here. I've used dishwashers in the past and I have used powder, but they weren't very good dishwashers. Um, so when I got our dishwasher, I just started using the tablets. So this time I thought I'm going to start using the powder. Let me know if you use dishwashing powder and what you think is the best brand. I just thought I'd start with this one. They did have the finish, but they wasn't in stock. And this was about $3.75 for a kilo of it. You put 20 grams in. So I've never used the powder in this dishwasher, but give me a comment below if you use dishwashing powder. It's just starting to cost a lot of money in dishwashing tablets. You know, I get them on special for around about $17, but you know, I need to cut the costs a bit and I've been doing the same thing with our um, laundry liquid, our dishwashing liquid, you know, um, sometimes our toothpaste. I am trying to cut costs a lot. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what this is like. I've got a load ready to go here in the dishwasher, so I'm going to try this today. 
and I just got some of the bleach toilet gel I use this on the grout in our shower because we've got like such wide grout and I just pour it like I just can squeeze it in the nozzles perfect on it and it can do the walls and all that sort of thing so I just bought that this week so that's the grocery shop today um, yeah so the thing is there is lots of things on special but sometimes the things that are on special can be more expensive than things that are in the shop so you do have to just have a look around I go onto my um, shop online at Woolworths and I go into the online specials or there's half price specials things like that that are allocated under the specials and sometimes the half price specials will have things in there and sometimes I'll pick up a few things sometimes it's makeups and soaps and things like that but you never know so it's worth having a go there and having a look okay so thanks everyone for watching today um, I hope you all have a really good weekend if you're in an area where it's raining like here today it doesn't flood too much or get too wet I think it's gonna rain all weekend so um, we're in for a really wet weekend here but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next video thanks everyone bye